in this lecture uh, i'll teach you how to adjust brightness or contrast of part of the picture many a times you need to do that in order to pop a certain part of the picture so here is an example uh, on the left you see an image of various objects on the table and what we want to achieve is i just want to highlight the folder in the middle which has a uh, string and knots around it uh, I want to pop it up. So the effect that I want to achieve it on the right, where I just want to uh, increase the brightness and contrast of just the folder, but rest of the image I want to turn into a black and white. So this can be achieved with the help of a market tool in Photoshop. So let's see how can we do that. Let's see how can we use market tools to target only the selection, selected part of the image. Okay. So I have this Photoshop open my machine. I'm going to open uh, a JPEG image where we can play with this uh, selection tools in Photoshop. So I'm just going to open a file called marketarget.jpg. It has basically a table with multiple objects on it. Okay. So you can see this table, our goal is basically what we want to do is we want to highlight the middle folder file folder that has a string attached to it, right? And make rest of the image black and white. That is our target. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the rectangular marquee tool. You can, there are multiple options here. If you will control click down, key down, you can see there are rectangular, elliptical, single row and single column. I'm going to stick with rectangular market tool. So now I, so with this, you will see a cross here. Now you just position your mouse to the top left of the folder and just click and then drag it all the way to the bottom right. And you will see a marching ads border that is appearing around the corner. So you can just keep dragging until and then release the mouse once the selection is complete. Now any selection you apply to your object will appear to this only folder only and nothing else. I also wanted to demonstrate some add and remove selection. So let's unselect this particular part so that we can play with add and remove part of selection tools. So you can see on your I'm going to deliberately select the part of the picture, part of the file. Now you can see on the top here, you see option like add selection and then remove selection. Okay. Let's play with this. Let's add to the selection because I want to cover the entire file object. So I'm just going to add more to the selection. So I'm just going to draw this rectangle so that it gets included in my selection. Also a little bit on the bottom and a little bit on the left. Okay. So this is just to select, add to my selection. So that gets included in my selection. Now you see on the bottom, there's an extra area which I want to remove. So I can go to the remove selection part now. Okay. Click on that. And then now, okay, that's a remove selection. So now if I, whatever, what I'm going to remove this part. So I'm just going to select this part so that it can be removed from my selection and that gets removed from my selection. Now we have selected pretty much the area that we want to target. What I want to do this, I want to pop this particular color. So that I'm going to image, I'm going to go to the adjustment. I'm going to adjust the brightness and contrast part of this image. Okay, so I'm going to select that and I'm going to adjust the brightness. I'm going to play with this first and I can see the preview, how the object is looking. I, I want it a little bit darker. So I'm going to slide to the left. That looks better. And also I'm going to adjust a little bit of contrast. That will increase the, uh, the difference between the white and black so that it will pop up a little bit more. Yeah, that's about it looks better. Uh, I'm going to click OK. So as you can see, the brightness and contrast selections are being applied only to the object. 
okay now next what i want to do is i want to convert rest of the part of the image to black and white so one way to do that is basically to remove this selection and again select the entire thing and somehow carefully remove the file folder part but that's tedious the easier way to do that is using inverse so to do that you can keep the selection and then you what you need to do is go to the select option and then select inverse yeah that's the one select it and now you will see all the images highlighted and you can see the folder will be extruded when you apply so now let's apply the black and white operation to the image so to do that you go to the image adjustments and then black and white all right and i'm going to let auto select and say okay so as you can see the rest of the part of the image is auto selected okay so our image is ready now to be exported i can just deselect all the layers by clicking on select and deselect and now I, I want to image export the image so i can say save as i want to save on my computer in the jpeg format and i want to select on my desktop folder there are multiple options here jpeg gif i'm going to keep it jpeg and click on save move it to the desktop okay so image has and you have multiple options here again on jpeg quality size of the file various format options i'm just going to choose default and say okay and now if i close the photoshop and open the the market target the exported file this is the file which is ready now you can use this on a social network or you can just use it uh, to create your uh, marketing campaign right